Okay guys, welcome back. This is episode 4 of our Minecraft uh, Hardcore Let's Play series that we're playing on an Amplified World. Um, last episode, which was yesterday in game time if you recall. Got to keep a lookout for creepers. We still don't have any uh, armor. So we think we found where we're going to stay. And that is going to be at the top of this little plateau area over here because it offers us the best view but the first things we need to do is <coughs> oh, look at that is that a cave One of the first things we need to do is uh, finish clearing out that area. Interesting little cave here. <coughs> Go ahead and grab this coal while we're at it. Is always a good thing. <coughs> Looks like we're down here. There's kind of two little batches of coal right next to each other, so this is going to be a pretty big score. Almost done here. Put a little light just because I hate creating pockets for mobs to grow in. Kind of like to control where my mobs are going to be at if we're eventually going to build a mob trap. So, still working on getting up here. I don't remember. It being so hard to get to the top of this last time, we're definitely going to have to work on that. <coughs> okay, so here we go. So we'll finish cutting down some trees. We're going to have plenty of wood after all this as well. Once we get the trees down, we'll have a better idea of what this looks like. It's really not what I would consider ideal area for building because it's so narrow. But I like to try to build things as, as part of the landscape, and so there may be some interesting things we can do. I'm sure that whatever the first building we build will not be the same as what its final iteration will look like. Whenever I'm cutting these trees down, I like to leave a block if I can, just in case some of these spruce especially can get too tall where you can't get to the bottom of them or can't reach the top from the bottom so if I give myself a boost before I start cutting them down a lot of times that prevents that although these last couple have been quite short so I think that's pretty well the end of the trees that are actually on this top area here so what I may do as well is I need to build a shovel But uh, if I clear out this, then we know we've got a completely flat area. So 
Sorry, I should have built a shovel. But, that's okay. So this is our little mesa top here. Wow, that was a lot taller tree than I thought it was. So I think whatever we do will start in this area right here. It may be a very small little building we put on top of this, but I think this is what's going to turn out to be home just because this view is great. Really I love that area over there. That's really cool. So I think the next thing we want to do, besides picking up this piece of wood we dropped, is probably we need to get some wheat growing and the reason we need to get wheat growing is because we need cattle to or we need to start breeding cattle and breeding cattle requires wheat because we are going to be using lots of leather and we also want to start breeding sugar or start uh, growing sugar cane as well so that's the inside of that area we lit up from our building in the last episode. So I'm going to come over here and grab this sugar cane. <clears throat> and we're going to go get a hoe for planting and see if we can start uh, working on some farming. What I may do, just to be quick about it though, is we'll go ahead and get some of this sugar cane growing here on this bank and just take advantage of the natural landscape. The sugar cane has to be next to water to grow. So we turn basically two stalks into eight stalks, so after a bit that should be nice. So let's go in here. Ah, oh, we got a couple of squid in there. Let's create a few tools. <coughs> One of the things we have been needing is a shovel. So Create a couple of those. Need a hoe. Go ahead and get me another axe ready. And we'll max out some torches. Drop some of this extra stuff off. use our hoe and start attacking some of this grass to see if we can get some seeds. Keeping an eye out for mobs of course. Already losing sunlight again. Man, the sun goes by fast in this game. There's a seed. Definitely dark enough 
start seeing some mobs. Okay, so that's enough to get us started. We will take advantage of this water adjacent here. So we've got at least some uh, wheat growing as well as some sugarcane growing which should help with we're also going to go ahead and kill a cow get some meat but that at least starts our farming process Ooh, I forgot I had that cooked mutton in there I'm not gonna cook this steak yet then anyway I'll get a few more okay so the next thought is really we're going to want to start mining early so even if this mine doesn't become the official mine it would be great to get some iron so I may open up this direction a little bit Just so we can maybe start a little starter mine shaft at least. I'd love to get some enough iron to build a couple buckets for carrying water, and then some iron to build a hopper to start uh, collecting chicken eggs. So we don't need this mine to be a huge undertaking, but uh, it would be nice if it at least got us some iron. Of course, obviously, if we took it all the way down and were able to get a hold of some diamonds, we need at least a few to be able to create an enchanting table and a diamond pickaxe to get obsidian of course for that. Take advantage of some of this wood we cut down. <coughs> to get plenty of ladders. Even if I don't use them all up front, it is always just a matter of time before I need more ladders. So, there we go. I really hate 4x4 four four shafts. Do I have room to make a little prettier? mine shaft which of course goes against everything I just said about just making this a quick mine shaft for iron but unfortunately I hate just ugly boxy mine shafts 
So one, two, three, four, five, and three, and then one, and then three, and then one. So at least it looks a little more organized now. Although it does take significantly longer to dig out a mine shaft like this versus a 4x4 mine shaft. some iron. Didn't take us too long to get lucky. Decent amount of iron. We will take it. Man. Nice little vein here. We got enough for an axe, a bucket, and maybe a hopper. Clean up our mess a little bit. I think that now is part of the mine shaft proper. To some dye right here, which is nice for decorating. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I like to space my torches five apart. We'll take it back down one more layer before we take this up and get this iron cooking. to a patch of gravel here, not a big fan of. But the flints are nice if we end up needing to make arrows. Although usually we end up getting plenty of those from skeletons.
one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So we'll take this up. We will put this in the oven. Ooh, we got us a skeleton out there. And get this cooking. And since daylight has passed, we are now in another day. So we will call this the end of episode four. And we'll check back in with you guys here in a little while.